Hi everybody, I'm Dave. And I'm Brenda. We are at the starter shack of the executive golf courses over in the village of McClure. That's our home village. Today, it is just a beautiful day out as uh, you'll be able to see here in a minute. There's not a cloud in the sky, 72 degrees. Your bubble weather. Bubble weather, this is, this is perfect. <laughs> this is why we moved to Florida. Um, but I have some errands I needed to do over at Pinellas, is it Pinellas Plaza? And I've never been there by golf cart. We've always done that by car. But figured, let's do it today by golf cart. So we're gonna bring you along for the ride on this beautiful day as we head to Pinellas for an errand. You ready to go? Let's go. All right, let's go. All right, we are starting, like we told you, from the starter shacks in McClure, of the uh, executive golf courses in McClure. What are those two courses? I should know. Longleaf and Loblolly. Longleaf and Loblolly. We're yeah. not really golfers. And there's a course right behind us. I should know. Loblolly. Loblolly, that's is right. Here's the course in our backyard. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, my errand that we need to do, um, we we use Amazon for lots of things like most people do and anyway I had something that needed to be returned got a wrong item so uh, they wanted me to take it to the UPS store for the return a simple yeah. return there and that is our closest one to us is over at Pinellas Plaza so that's why we're heading over there I'm actually going to the UPS store what else is there though we found? Win Dixie. Win Dixie. Which I don't normally shop at, so I'm excited to go in there and get something for dinner. Yeah. We <laughs> we have we, Publix is uh, Publix and Walmart. Yeah, they're the biggies down here. Publix is the really biggie. Yes. Um and we have a Publix right uh, near us over at Magnolia Plaza. Yes. We're getting on the multimodal path here. Um I'll get back to the grocery store in a minute if I wanted to point this out. I love going down in this. is one of my favorite little spots. And of course, it's right here near home. Roundabout. I love the stones on the... Uh, down in this this little ravine, I guess you'd call it. <laughs> that doesn't sound very attractive, know, but it's attractive. beautiful down here. It is. And we'll scoot up the hill here. We're going along the back side of McClure and along Route 501 headed towards... Warm Springs Road. Yes. And they'll see out on the left. The, the lake to the left of us here very often has um, alligators out there. There's a good, good size one that's been out recently. I don't know if he's going to be out today. On these sunny days in the 70s, a lot of times they'll come out on the bank. I don't see him today. This is where he likes to hang out, down here. Yeah. And then there's one more spot at the other end of the lake that he hangs out in. If he's out there, him. if we see him, I brought my, my handy cam, so we'll, I'll get a close-up of it if he's out there. We had the handy cam ready for any critter cam footage that we might find today. <laughs> oh, he's there. There. Oh yeah, all right, let me pull over here. He's a big boy. We're not gonna bother him. We're on the other side of the pond. Yeah. This is a standard spot. Him. He's um, huge. I'll clip this in real, let me get, get it on the handy cam. I think he's taking he's a He's a big boy. Yes, he is. Second here. Sometimes they'll lay there and their jaws will be wide open, but he looks like he's just taking a nap. All right, here we go. Can you get a close up on yep, the Yeah, so we are camera? in the cart. Yeah, I can get in. Sorry, zoom on in. And remember, almost all of the uh, water sources or, water, or the ponds that you find here in the villages, assume they all have an alligator. Yes, that's the safest way to do it. Just assume it's there. You can estimate the size, the length, 
of an alligator by the distance from the tip of the nose to their eyes. That's what I've been told. And that in inches, if it's like eight inches from the tip of the nose to the eyes, then you can estimate the length of the alligator is about eight feet. Can you, can you guess by um, zooming in and looking? Well, I mean, no. he's a big boy. Yeah, he's definitely big. He's, he's plump too. <laughs> he's been eating well. All right, we're going to continue our ride. Let me turn this off here. All right, put the handy cam away. I know y'all are watching on that side. All <laughs> right. Everything closed up. If anything else of interest comes up, we will film it. Um, length, if you stretched him out, I don't know. I'm guessing if you pull him out straight, maybe seven or eight feet. I would think, I would, I would totally agree with that. That's it's one perfect. of the larger ones. And we've seen him in this pond a lot. Yes. He doesn't bother anybody. No, he's a... I think he's a resident at this pond for now. Yeah. They All travel right. from pond to pond, though. <laughs> well, that's going to mess up the clock. They had a timing at the top <laughs> of how long it would take to get over there to Pinellas. Um, sightseeing. So yeah. the time you get is with sightseeing. Yeah, that, that, yeah. this is with stops, if you use that time breathing. Um, I'm guessing, what time are we at now? We're probably three or four minutes in, I don't know. Uh, so it won't be much different. <laughs> uh, for those of you that live over in like Hawkins and those areas, uh, on the other side of the turnpike, you can estimate this ride. I think it'll be similar from the, from the entrance of Hawkins as it is for us over here at McClure. Similar time, they're just on about as far down the interstate as we are, they're just on the opposite side. Uh, so if you're curious how long it would take to get from that area, the clock we end up with on this trip, um, base that on coming from Hawkins also. McClure and Hawkins over to Mellis be about the same. And we can have an exact time after we go do our shopping in Winn-Dixie, we can just go straight from there home and then you can put that in the comments. I'm sure we'll stop somewhere. Gonna make, gonna <laughs> I'm, try, I'm trying to give them an exact number. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah. Um, we just went by Magnolia, Magnolia Plaza. So that is where we have our Publix. Yeah. For us, we grocery shop a lot at Walmart and Sam's Club on sort of like a monthly run to get yeah. those types of items. And then I go get fruits and fresh things from Publix. Yeah, because that's so convenient. So it's where you get yeah. those things. Um, now, all, every grocery store has different uh, items and some things that are uh, different sales and that type of thing. So that's why we're curious about Winn Dixie. Learning. Oh. Yeah, Winn Dixie hasn't really been in our mix. But we didn't didn't think it was going to be very close, and uh, I'm guessing by looking online and trying to see how to get there by cart, um, I'm thinking it would be about 25 minutes. That's good enough for me to add it to my no, probably 30, shopping 30 stores. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, I would guess 30, 30 minutes. 30 minutes on a beautiful day like this. That yeah. that's a bonus. Yeah. I had now if you notice there on the left, we had the softball fields at Everglades. I got team play going on. So I, don't, I think that's more than a practice. Look like a lot of people watching. So yeah, I think that's have, actually games. Yeah, and they have their uniforms on also. Now we're coming through uh, Hogeye. This is the Hogeye Preserve uh, behind the village of uh, Marshmans. <laughs> I had a brain freeze too. I was like, I. <laughs> and uh, there's a parking, two parking areas for golf carts on this where you can go on to the Hogeye Trail. Very uh, popular place to go walking, uh, some bike riding. It's got beautiful. Some, yeah. It's a beautiful walk. Going over, that's the water source going into the Hogeye Sink. Uh, there's all kinds of, of wildlife you can see in there. Your bird watchers, and we see bird watchers here all the time. And people with their cameras, uh, and yeah. There's long lens, you know. <laughs> yes. The camera's as long as the person. And, uh, so yeah. they're taking a picture of an insect two miles away. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there's some good photographers out here. Uh, I'm making fun, but there's some very good photographers out here amazing pictures they get 
Now you should tell them about your experience you had here, even though it didn't catch it on film. I we had just started the critter cam, and I uh, Dave was uh, at work, and I had my mom with me and Molly, and right in front of us was an eagle. At this tree, wasn't it? Yes, at this tree that we're passing right this minute. Well, it started in the field. An eagle had caught a uh, a prey. Bald eagle. A bald eagle had caught a prey, and he was huge. And I pulled over the best I could with Molly and Mom and got my phone up. But um, Molly likes to uh, protect us. So then she started barking at a golf cart that went by. And, and, then, uh, and then it flew. It, it, not because of Molly, because I was far enough away. I don't think Molly had any influence on it. And then it flew up into the tree, and so <laughs> I closed the doors on our golf cart and just went flying over there because I was determined I was going to do a critter cam segment for him <laughs> while he couldn't be here. And uh, when I did, uh, I couldn't get Molly situated, and uh, so I saw a beautiful shot just flying away with his with its prey and I didn't get it on camera but I told him all about it and I'm like I was this close to getting you something for Critter Camp. <laughs> so. Yes there are nat National Geographic moments as you call it. There are some yes. of those here. Yes. And, uh, they happen in our backyard yes. sometimes. Yeah because they're we live on a retention pond a little lake and birds will be eating frogs and lizards and and that's what I call it. I close my eyes during, the, I call them the National Geographic moments. I don't want to see that. Yeah. And uh, alligators, of course, they're eating something to stay that long. <laughs> I haven't seen that. Yeah, I haven't seen what they Thank eat. Heavens. Or I haven't seen, I know what they eat, but I haven't seen the actual uh, catching of anything. Uh, but I'm sure it happens. And then, um, nighttime riding coming back from the squares <laughs> oh my goodness Maybe all the, the the bad stories here um at night especially on this path back similar to where where the uh we saw the alligator at yes um, that, that's the that's the area there is something at at night when the sun goes especially if it's been a light rain or something there's a plague of frogs it's <laughs> not every night it's but every, every night. so often and i mean when we say plague we're not exaggerating we'll have to film it sometimes hundreds I mean, maybe thousands of frogs the little ones move from the pond across the path and it i mean you remember and, i'm gonna date myself saying frogger you know yeah. the, the game frogger when you're trying to go through yeah i tried to but you can just see the the carnage from where the <laughs> golf carts have come through um, the birds clean it up the next and day. Snakes, because I told you one time yeah. I was bringing mom through there when you were out of town in the evening after we'd gone up to the square and there was a thick snake that had made its way up and it was during one of the frog plagues going across the road <laughs> and he was up there and I'm thinking to myself he's getting a buffet. <laughs> I didn't I didn't wait to see. I'll say that uh, right here where we just we're going across the water lily uh, golf cart bridge right at the base of the bridge here on uh, this, this is in um, Galuna. Yeah. I love the names are, are <laughs> going away from me. Too many villages uh, and at the base of Galuna. That's where a lot of people have their lifestyle visits. That's one of the areas that they put people up at in a villas right there. Um, so this would be the path coming out of your villa if you were on a lifestyle tour. Um, Very now, convenient. We just crossed over the Florida Turnpike, of course. And I'll point out a couple of construction areas. You see them by air all the time from us. Um, but you can kind of see from ground as we come through here. Just coming off the bridge, straight ahead there. That is the um, uh, St. John, the future village of St. John. If we had turned right in that roundabout, that would have taken us towards a lot of those newer areas. Hawkins and uh, St. Uh, Catherine, Grove. Citrus Grove, yeah. Case and Hammock, all that stuff's that direction. Yep. But we turned left. So we're turning left here. Uh, we're headed towards Brownwood. On my left hand side, you really can't see anything because of the berm that's here right now. Um, but there's that area is going to be Richmond. Basically, everything from um, the bridge that we just came across all the way until we get up there towards Brownwood is going to be the village of Richmond and that's still a little ways off and then over to the left of this roundabout um, I think I'll, I'll point it out when we come around the corner here that the camera will be angled, angled properly 
uh, but there's the Lake Okahumpka. Um, it's Germany. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not right. The uh, Lake Okahumpka um, uh, Recreation Center that they have started putting walls up on. They just put in some of the foundation work. There's actually block. Uh, they're short because you can't see it, but uh, there actually is some footage I've taken I'll put up that uh, where the walls are. And of course, that's Lake Okahumpka behind there. So that'll be where the main entrance, or one of the main entrances into the village of St. John will be right there by that rec center. I can't wait for that to open up. Yeah. Back in Richmond here, or on the path. Now the path here, as we go along the village of Richmond, or future village of Richmond, it's still a long ways off. Um, I think you know, have St. John and then probably the next phase of Deluna um, before Richmond. Now they may get into Richmond before they finish those areas, but there's still a whole lot of work to go on. A lot of work. Yeah. But uh, this morning I came through here at, uh, just for a routine doctor's appointment and they had the, uh, the dirt moving operation was in full swing. They, they have a lot of resources they piled in over here. I think if they finish really working on all the dirt moving, or it's not much left, dirt moving over in St. John. So I think resources are piling in over here in, uh, in Richmond. So it'll move along a little quicker, but it's still many months away, many yeah. months before Richmond. Now Richmond will be a pretty ideal place as far as the location to Brownwood. Uh, it's, you will see as we get up to the the uh, next roundabout that we cross over. It's uh, that's one of the first entrances into Richmond. That spot there, you can pop across and be in Brownwood in no time. three to five minutes. Yeah, easy, easy. Yeah. Pop over. Now, those of you that if you move to St. John and you're near Lake Okahomka Rec Center, the pools, again, we're going to talk about there's not many pools in St. John. There's just one on the very far end, the opposite end of Lake Oklahoma, the rec center. But you'd be using the pools over here in Richmond, or you can go across the Water Lily Bridge and you'd be at a pool right on the other side at the Water Lily Recreation Center. So there are pools in the area, they're just not necessarily in St. John. But they're close. Okay. They're close, yeah. Golf cart, yeah. bicycle, yeah. can get their pass. But they're not nearly as packed in there as some areas. So it's just something to be aware of with St. John. They're not as the pools are not as plentiful in that that one village. And I'm sure they're doing it that way for a reason. Now, this is uh, the will be the main entrance into Richmond. Let's ride around here. And there you can see a lot of, this is where a lot of the workers park, right on this road into this main entrance. And right there behind those vehicles is where there will be a recreation center uh, with a family pool for Richmond. And there'll be a neighborhood pool, adult pool, uh, down the road a little farther. I'll do some follow-up videos on that uh, in the coming weeks as they get further along. But they're putting the underground stuff in. The deep um, drainage pipes look like they're done. And I see green water lines uh, popping up on uh, different areas. So I think, I think it's moving along pretty well. I don't see any electrical or anything in there yet. Now right here, if you were to go straight ahead, that would take you to a freestanding emergency room for the village's health. That's the only place that goes if you went straight into that parking lot for the village's health. Yeah. Uh, you have to come under this tunnel we just went through. We just went under Megasin Road. And we're, you can follow the signs that says Brownwood Square. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, to know the turns, just follow the signs. Yeah. This will take us right over to the Brownwood Bridge, golf cart bridge. Another one of those multi billion dollar golf cart bridges. <laughs> Yes. I'm not saying that negative. I love it. I, I love think they're it. great. I love it. I love all of them. The open field to the left, nothing's been announced for that, but it is, uh, my understanding, reserved for for uh, retail or commercial. Yeah. Uh, so you can kind of get a view of it here. That area to the left, all the way up to the intersection. That intersection is right there at Brownwood. Brownwood's right across from that traffic light up ahead. 
I'm always on the lookout for Critter Camp now that you haven't. <laughs> If you haven't seen the Critter King we were talking about, it was just a, a good catch of something we did on our fireside chat. Yeah. Uh, the second fireside chat we did. If you didn't watch that, go ahead and check it out. <laughs> uh, those of you that are interested in more information on the turnpike sound, we talked about the turnpike sound there. That was and very interesting. Tried to do me. some measurements with a, a a decibel meter on my phone. Rather than uh, trying to give my opinion of sound, I tried to yeah. give you some factual numbers. Yeah. But, um, but anyway, that's on the fireside chat uh, number two that we did. And you had a lot of fun with editing that section. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the critter cam definitely did. Now we are going over Route 44. Yeah. And this. Brownwood Bridge will drop us right on into Brownwood in the parking lot on the back side. I go across this little pond and a small bridge. So pretty. No alligators on the bank. No, you saw some? No, it's no, no I alligators. Didn't see any. I, uh, I haven't seen many in that pond. I've seen a couple like swimming here and there, but not regular like we saw, saw just a little while ago on that in the lake that we always see it in. Now we're pulling into this is Brownwood Paddock Square, the, one of the the back parking lot. Um, if we get up to the next intersection and to the left, uh, that take you directly into the square. We're going to keep going straight because our goal is Pinellas Plaza, yeah. the UPS store. And when dixie to get some dinner. <laughs> yeah. No cooking tonight. We're going to get some Winn-Dixie food. Okay. On the corner here is one of the village golf car locations. There's many hey, of them in the villages. All right, we're scooting right on through the square. We're gonna come out on the other side. We're not going through the square, beside the square. Right. <clears throat> and directly ahead is the Moss Apartments. And this can be a little tricky the first time you come here to find this path, um, but once you've done it, it's, it's, it's easy. You'll find, yeah. There's a couple spots like that, it's a little tricky spots. You gotta know where in the parking lot to go to catch the multimodal path. Because it's not obvious, but then once you've done it. Let this fella come on by. <laughs> you can pass on the multimodal path. Uh, just be careful as you do it. Uh, carts go at different speeds. Uh, 20 miles an hour is what a golf cart uh, is supposed to be regulated at. Um, but some go a little faster, some go a little slower, and it is okay to pass. Just be careful as you do it, be respectful, as he was very much so for me. All right, this roundabout, if you go on this first exit, which I'm not, that one takes you on- for a trail. Yep, the right-hand side of Buena Vista, if you're heading north, it would be on the right-hand side. We're going on the left-hand side. We're taking the second exit, so there's two. And it says Eisenhower Wreck on the sign. There's two yeah. mm -hmm. um, golf cart paths, one on each side of Buena Vista, just in this section. not like that everywhere in this part. So we took the left-hand one yeah. because we're going to be taking a left onto a, the first roadway to start working our way over to Pinellas. And we'll be coming up on the Eisenhower Recreation Center. A lot of times when you've ridden with us, we're on the other side. I'm not sure we've ever recorded. Yeah, I think we're always place. on the other side yeah. when we record it. Across the way, that would have been where the, the woodworking shop and the fire, fire station. station. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but then we're on the Eisenhower Recreation Center side, Regional Recreation Center. Now, if you're heading north uh, on Buena Vista with a golf cart, if you're heading like towards Lake Sumter, you can go on either side. Yeah. Um, what will happen is this eventually will end and dump you into a tunnel to send you over to the other side. So these, we could have taken either one of these exits if we were heading uh, that far north. 
but we had to come on this side uh, this time because of this entrance right here to Collier. And that's where we're going to cut through. And this is why I was interested in doing it by golf cart. Because when I looked on the, the map, we don't drive through Collier that much. Just haven't had we just know, haven't club had meetings the, or anything right. down that way. Um, now I take that back. We had, did come here for some Christmas lights. There are some nice Christmas lights in Collier. Yes. So we've done it by car. Um, but not, not by cart. Yeah, not by cart. So we're, uh, I pulled it up on the map and was looking at it. It's like, it is almost a direct route over to Pinellas. So I thought Pinellas would be a long trip by cart and it's not bad. Now, I think by car, it would have taken us 20 minutes. And I'm guessing with this, like I said, 25, 30 minutes by cart. Now, I didn't pay attention to what road this was. Oh, I, so we're, we're I look up find here. it. People have a beautiful day to be playing golf. Yeah, look, I mean, there is not a cloud in the sky. Hendry Drive, H-E-N-D-R-Y, Hendry. Village of Collier. Yeah. Um, and so I don't know what golf courses these are. We didn't bring our map to specifically <laughs> look at them, but that's okay. Oh, I they, uh, but it looked like I'm wondering if there's some championship courses if that if that championship. They just look they look large to me. Look like a larger course. Could be wrong. Beautiful looking course. Got a lot of uh, preserve area around it. Water some huge water pieces. Sorry it's not on the camera. There is some big open water. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, this road is going to take us up to... What was that other village? Like three villages? Or three... Pinellas. Pen is it Pinellas the village? Okay. The, so Pinellas Parkway or road? Yeah, this is that's where we're going to go it. to. And that's going to dump yeah. us right into the... Uh, the plaza. The plaza, yep. yeah. Again, this is a, a spot. I remember coming down here, like this next area up to the right had some good Christmas lights yeah. that we uh, brought your mom out here in the car to look at. I was getting ready at. to say, we, we made sure we found a lot of Christmas lights to take her around to see. This is Big Cypress Rec Center. That's right, you did have a, a meeting a, there or something. Yeah. So you're, when you meet at a club, there's no guarantee that club is going to be in your backyard. Right. Um, you know, there's meeting spaces all over the villages. So your club may meet, like this one did at Big Cypress, or I have uh, one that meets at Burns, or used to meet at Burnstead. Yeah. Um, there's lots of different areas uh, throughout the villages that your meeting may be at, or your club meeting. Okay, this is, you don't have a choice because you have, a, it comes to a T, yep. and this is Pinellas Place. We're almost there. Straight That's the name of the road. Through, not sure how well it shows on the camera. Um, you can see a building under construction up there. I think that's a hotel. Um, <laughs> Speculating. That's, that's outside of the villages on the other side of the road there. That's but that Lowe's. road, that roadway where you see the cars way over there is 466A. That's what Pinellas Plaza is on. It's 466A. So we're getting really close. <laughs> now there's, um, like most of the villages shopping centers, there's all kinds of things in there. I'm sure there's there's pizza places or food places. Nail places. Nail it seems places like there's things. always a nail place and a hair place. Yeah. So we're gonna explore this one a little bit when we get there. Okay. We won't make you go through all of our exploring for that, but uh, we're gonna check out. Some people might be interested in the nail yeah. place and the hair place. Yeah, well, we'll keep the camera on at least till we get to the UPS store, <laughs> which is on the far end. Um, oh, I, while I'm thinking about it, when you go through here, and I'll point out when we get up to it, this is a way you can take your golf cart. If you live in Sumter County, which is 90% of the villages, you can take your golf cart over to um, their offices where you can register your car, do that type of, all those things, get your voter. driver's license, voter registration, all that stuff. Their uh, service center is right on the end of this plaza and it is golf cart accessible. So and this is the way you would get there. And so is the library, a public library. Yeah, forgot about it. It's Which in the very, same building. Uh, yeah, it's, all, it's together. Brenda has a doctor's office right here, one of the right villages' here? health. 
Yeah, I'm very happy with my yeah. doctor. Mine's over at Brownwood. I also use the Village's Health. They have lots of offices throughout the villages. All right, we're turning into Pinellas uh, Plaza. Here's well, Citizens First Bank. Citizens First Bank is everywhere. They it, are. It's it the local everywhere. bank here. All right, what do we have here? Subway, Meridian, Wealth Management, Alliance Labs, Roberto's Restaurant. I've heard of Roberto's Pizza. I mean, Ray's Kitchen, Always Caring Home Care, Buffalo Ridge Animal Hospital, Hindsight, which is for eyes, a hair salon, bell tone for your hearing. They got a little bit of everything. And here's Win Dixie. This is where you're going to get your dinner tonight. This is very typical of um, the shopping centers throughout the villages. The nice fancy facades they put on these buildings. And it yeah. looks like individual little pieces put together, kind of like a little town. Yeah, Disney esque, I guess you would call it. There's the UPS store, so we're All in the right, right so spot. We're there. Stretch right. Zone, T-Mobile, Hair Cuttery, Nails and Spa, Village Dental, <laughs> Daryl's Diner, H&R Block, and I bet you it's a restaurant on the end. Yeah. I can't see the name. So most neighborhoods will have something like this available to them in a reasonable drive. Oh, it's and that building directly ahead that has the gold or what do you want to call it, copper top? Yeah. Turn like them back. That is that building I was talking about where you can go for Sumter County. Um, and you can go straight ahead and curve around with, and with your golf cart and get in there. All right, that was our tour. I can't see what the clock says on there. I'm hoping that we're at 30 minutes or less on it. Um, I'll find out when I put all this together and pull up the telemetry and see what the time actually was. But I appreciate you all riding along with us. I'm going to go in the UPS store and return my item that I got from Amazon. And then we're going to Win dixie and find some dinner <laughs> for tonight. So Brenda doesn't have to cook, or I don't have to cook. Either one of us have to cook. Sounds like a plan to me. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, there should be a button right down there in the corner on that side. I always get these mixed up. I think it's over here this time. Um, but it'll be on your right-hand side. If you press there, you can subscribe to our channel. And also, if you uh, ring the bell, go to the YouTube page there. And if you ring that bell, it'll notify you the next time we explore the villages. See you next time. Bye.